And just to um, confirm, because not many people have probably seen a floor in this detail, or certainly um, the top side of the floor. You might have seen pictures, but video maybe not. Um, people say the floors are different. They're not really. They are identical. We've studied these on and off for a long time now, and uh, compared the two floors, done a lot of work with our reinforcement plates. There, they have added um, a plastic internal bracing section to this left rear um, internal cavity where the threaded mount is directly under here. These two white plastic, sort of we call them Christmas tree plugs, um, they're holding a plastic internal brace which I can feel with my hand in there, which, um, which some people say is to do with compression loading. I'm not going to do a huge amount. Um, some people say it's a, a new barrier system for the um, for the resin injection, which we tend to believe that is probably the case. On the older cars, without this new floor, when you're filling with resin, you need to make a, you need to dead end that section. So you would um, drill a hole in the boot floor and then go through this hole, um, fill it with polyurethane sealer so that it acts as a dead end, and then also one in this one here, so that when you fill your resin through here, it doesn't start escaping and carrying on and being wasted, it needs to centre around here. We believe that this new floor, that is that plastic piece there, is a barrier gap because you can get your hand in and you can feel it all the way to the back side and it's a complete sort of dead end section um, so that it, when you put your resin in it can't escape past this section and then it does its job and fills the threaded pin. Um, so that's one difference, there's this threaded and there's this plastic bracing inside which again we can't tell you definitely why it's there, but there's a few theories on that. Um, the rest of the floor is completely the same. We've gone over this many, many times. Um, but there is one more difference, which I'll show you next. This is the... Um, turn the floor over now. So this is the effectively the underside, the bit that you see when it's up on the car. And the only other um, change that we've noticed on this floor, uh, and interestingly, even before we've worked with a new floor, we picked this up in, and we've documented it in one of our videos um, a while back, where the design of the bush, which has these semicircle lips, contacts in the floor, ever so slightly, not not a huge amount of energy, um, but where they contact the floor, on the right front one, they went straight onto a spot weld. A spot weld is a circular electronic pressure weld like that. Um, and it went straight onto it, which was about here where my finger is, and that was causing the spot weld to crack. And from the cracks, then you'd get multiple cracks. You'd get one go that way, one go forward. Um, and then they start to go around the mount as well when the mount started flexing. Um, and interestingly, it was this side here, and the spot weld was here, about where my finger is, because the, the bush used to absolutely touch it. The black marks used to completely, completely um, cover the spot weld, and now the spot weld's been moved. It's been moved outboard slightly, um, still doing its job and containing the inner threaded section, but they've moved all these spot welds slightly out. We think that one's been moved as well, but definitely this right front one, um, because now, that's the, uh, that's the mount. So even if we put it pretty much absolutely central and the lip is touching the floor, you can still see the whole of that circular spot weld. And it's not being touched. Um, so that's another um, change on the floor. Apart from that, we can't see anything else.